Hi, uh, this is the Bosch 401 liter double door refrigerator. This is my second review and initially I had uh, reviewed a Bosch 350 liter version. So let's uh, check it out how this product looks like. Let's uh, see the fridge section first. So this is how it looks like. You have uh, technically four trays here. The first one is which you can pull it out and they call it as a pull out tray. You have a couple of uh, bottle racks which you can put it anywhere wherever you want to put bottles horizontally. There is a drawer where you can keep your medicines, chocolates, spices, whatever you want and you can completely pull it out if you want to and at the same time you can move it in either direction. Then you have the chiller tray which is uh, unlike the other models which are available of other manufacturers this is at the bottom and this is what uh, it's supposed to have a zero degree temperature throughout so you can keep fish, meat, dairy products etc. And here it comes uh, the crystal box which is essentially for keeping vegetables and fruits and uh, what Bosch calls it to be Vita Fresh and this is uh, a technology which they use across uh, all the refrigerators globally and what they claim is they keep uh, the green leafy vegetables, fruits and other vegetables fresh for longer and trust me I have uh, uh, been using this for a couple of months and I can assure you this definitely keeps uh, vegetables uh, fresh longer compared to the other refrigerators that you have in the market. Initially I had a Samsung refrigerator which, which I have used for almost eight, 8 years and there also I haven't seen vegetables to be you know uh, fresh for so long which I have seen in this case. Okay so this is the alarm which is buzzing now if you keep the door open for longer period of time the alarm will start buzzing. Let me just switch it off for the time being. I will come back to the display section later on. And here you have the door uh, compartments. So here you have four compartments. These are all adjustable. You can put it up and down. And you have uh, egg trays where you can keep 24 eggs, which is you know unlike uh, majority of the refrigerators will have option of keeping 12 eggs. So these are uh, small, you know, uh, compartments which you can you know keep it one up the other if you don't need to you know use the entire space, and it's up to you how you manage it. So this is essentially how it looks like. Now, most importantly, they have a LED light which is here. Majority of the refrigerators you will see the LED light either on top or inside, but this is uh, a little bit uh, different. And what I've seen is generally, I mean, even if, if your refrigerator is completely full, you will get enough light which is coming out and evenly distributed. Now, coming back to the refrigerator, this is an imported model, imported model, which is uh, imported from uh, Turkey, as you can see. It's made in Turkey, and this is part of uh, Bosch's global portfolio. So, if you go to Europe or America or Australia, I'm sure you want to get a similar product which is available coming out of the same factory. So, these are the specifications. I don't know whether you can see it, but just for a reference point. Yep. So, this is what it is. Uh, what Bosch calls this is a multi flow refrigerator. So, you can see, you know, flow coming out from various sections. So, this is one section from where the flow comes out. This is the second section and the third section is coming out from the chiller tray. Uh, yeah, so I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but just I'm trying to show it, it's here. Now, let me close this. Let me go to the deep freezer section. This is what the deep freezer is. You have uh, 
ice uh, box which you can twist and ice is going to come out which is as usual you have the quick freezer section which is on top and the bottom is also uh, going to have similar temperature you have uh, two compartments here where you're going to keep uh, ice creams or you know ice cubes or uh, the cool packs which i'm keeping it here and you can see here uh, is the on off switch and here is basically the switch which you know gets suppressed after you close the door so that it starts working again uh, unlike you know a lot of refrigerators what i've seen in this product is uh, whenever you open the door the fan just switches off so this is something unique which you see in bosch so i mean assuming the door is closed so i press this switch the fan is going to start working now yep that's it the fan is working i don't know whether uh, on video uh, you'll be able to hear the sound but uh, that's where the fan sound is i'll release my finger is going to go off yeah the fan switches off so that's what it is that's how the refrigerator looks like it's a, a steel finish which i have seen almost all bosch refrigerators which are imported is having a similar set of finish and uh, just for uh, everybody's knowledge bosch and siemens they are technically the same product you can find in the store uh, i mean the same uh, product essentially with different brand names either bosch or siemens so what bosch has done in india is they have bought over the stake of siemens but they're still producing uh, siemens branded refrigerators and washing machines but the materials essentially fit and finish the compartments are everything the same so now coming back to the uh, touch panel which bosch calls it as a touch technology here it's written as touch, touch, touch technology uh, so this is the temperature section of the freezer and this is the temperature section of the bottom portion so here are the controls so uh, if you just press the plus the temperature will go up of the freezer section as you can see minus 14 is the maximum that you could put on the freezer section and you can decrease the temperature up to minus 22 as you can see so that's what it is minus 22 is the minimum i prefer to keep it 18 to 16 depending on the you know the kind of food i have kept on the bottom portion again this here is where you can operate the temperature for the bottom portion so it goes from minus 2 sorry it's not minus 2 it's plus 2 to 8 degrees so that's what it is i prefer to keep it at mine at, at plus 6 uh, what they also have is something called as a super cooling function so if you press the super here it's written super here see one light glows up so essentially the upper compartment is going to freeze faster and if you press super at the bottom you see another super glowing here so the lower section is also cool fast so this is something which bosch has given in uh, all their refrigerators so whenever you are switching on the refrigerator after, after a long period of time or after you come back from your vacation or probably you have bought a lot of stuff which you want to uh, get cool fast so this is an option which Bosch has provided and trust me this is a fantastic option I have been using this uh, quite often whenever I get uh, ice creams or fish or meat from outside and I want it to be uh, chilled quite fast I think this is one of the best options that they have provided okay I'm going to switch it off so that's how it goes off okay now coming back to the alarm function so if you keep either of the doors open for i think three or four minutes there's one alarm buzzer which glows which essentially is here so it's going to glow red if you press it it's going to go out as you have seen you know some time back i have actually pressed that to switch it off so uh, that's in brief now coming back to the electricity consumption is 364 
units per year although it's a two star but i would say uh, considering the size of the refrigerator which is 401 liter i don't know whether you can see it that's what it is 401 liter i would say 364 units is pretty, de uh, pretty decent and uh, what Bosch says is this refrigerator has got inverter compressor if you buy it online uh, for example in Flipkart they mention this as normal compressor which is incorrect uh, because uh, I have seen the website of Bosch and I have also verified the compressor so whenever I need super cooling the compressor runs faster and I could uh, hear a kind of a humming noise uh, although it's not uh, too much of a noise but I would say still you could hear it but during the normal operations when it is not doing any kind of super cooling if it is uh, cooling at a normal speed you could hardly hear any noise trust me it's, this is one of the most silent refrigerators that I have come across uh, also Bosch claims that you don't need to put a stabilizer but just for my requirement as you can see up I have put a V-Guard stabilizer uh, the reason being, I mean in my place I don't have too much of a uh, power fluctuation uh, I have got a uh, auto power backup now what happens whenever power goes off for a fraction of second there is a flicker so I try to you know, avoid that that's the reason I have put that uh, stabilizer but otherwise uh, there is no requirement of any kind of stabilizer and I think this is essentially what it covers the review of the, or rather the small review of the refrigerator I'll just take you with the side portion uh, this is essentially the tags which are actually there when you buy the refrigerator so just see the tag and this uh, and there is also a QR code I think through this you can verify the manufacturing date etc and uh, I think that's it that's it from my side so uh, I mean I thought of you know doing this small review because whenever I when to buy this product I could not see this anywhere in YouTube or any social networking sites because nobody had put any review and I hope uh, it will be helpful for people whosoever is looking to buy this product uh, recommendation from my side please go ahead don't think twice this is one of the best products that you will find in the market I have seen Samsung, LG's and Whirlpools of the world the quality of Bosch is simply top notch and this Korean or other uh, Japanese uh, refrigerators simply do not match Bosch. So it's my recommendation. Please go ahead. Thank you.